Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and the big question of today is of course, what on earth did Blizzard just do to Darkmoor Fair? Darkmoor Fair is finally back, hey, great news, Darkmoor Fair, one of the most anticipated events, and it hasn't been around for a month now, and now it's finally back. Blizzard already reduced the number of Darkmoor Fairs we get by half in Warcraft Rumble, and now... Well, I mean, the basics are the same. You can get 62,000 tickets per fair if anyone in the guild does everything, gets 3,100 tickets, 20 person guild. You complete battles, you can do all types of content to get those battles done. Yes, you can spam gold too, you can do King Bang, Alash, and Strangleton, Vein, and all of that. All of that stuff still applies, but the reward tree. Just what is this abomination of a reward tree? So first you take a quick look, okay, so apparently it looks a little bit more like Blinkturn event tree now, there's like direct mini stars here, not many tomes, a little bit more tickets overall, 158,800, so some 30,000 more tickets for the full tree, but full tree was never possible anyway without the use of lots of alt accounts, and you can join a guild with a new account, get tickets for the guild, leave the guild, you can cycle alts in and out of the guild, that sort of stuff, you can get a little bit more tickets, but 158,000 is probably just out of reach anyway. But bigger guilds luckily make participation, 100% participation, a little bit less important, because many of the rewards are not that appealing. But this time Blizzard has really amped up on that not appealing part of the rewards. Because comparing the Dark Moon Fair last time, this time there are zero modest tomes, so five less than last time, only two major tomes, five less as well, one megatome, 650 coins. So that's 500 coins less than last time. Almost half of the coins are gone. They're just gone. And they're not replaced by Arc Energy either. There's 2,900 Arc Energy, 1,600 Arc Energy less than last time. And all that Arc Energy is really, really expensive as well. Then there's those direct stars, leader stars, troop stars. There are also some uncommon leaders and uncommon troops here. It just doesn't show it in any way, which is kind of confusing. But that whole Nova on row 4 for 6000, that's actually an uncommon, so equivalent to 4 stars. Or if you don't yet have an uncommon Holy Nova, then it's 4 stars plus the 500 Arc Energy for the upgrade. And likewise, the troops and the leaders on the two bottom rows, the Warzone Grants for 11,000, the Footmen for 11,000, then Tyrion and Cairn for 20,000, those are all uncommons. You can't tell from this graphic, but yeah, Blizzard just likes to likes to keep it a little hidden, a little bit of a nice surprise. Nice surprise uh, is maybe a little bit overdone, though, because they're actually not very good at all. Also, there's no more Epic Core. Epic Core used to cost 30,000 tickets. Now there's instead a Rare Core for 20,000 tickets. If you buy them from the shop with coins, Rare Core is 250, Epic Core is 1,000. So Epic Core is four times the value of a Rare Core. And here, Rare Core is two thirds of value of an Epic Core. This Rare Core is the most ridiculously priced thing ever in Darkmoor Fair reward tree. That's the worst, worst pricing that has ever been in this tree. So it's difficult to find anything positive to say about this. Consider fewer coins. Overall, you're getting around 25% worse value than you did last Dark Moon Fair. The only real upside is those direct uncommons, and even of those, then that whole no one row four for 6,000 tickets is pretty much the only one that's decent. Everything else is still ridiculously overpriced. What can you do with this reward tree? Well, you can get all the coins. Getting all the coins costs you 30,600 tickets. So you can do it by using these blue paths here, for example. Then any leftover tickets, you probably want to spend them on the first three rows, mainly. Because all the items that cost 10,000 or more tickets, they're just ridiculously overpriced. All the Arc Energy here is super expensive, even on the first rows, that Arc Energy is, that arc energy is just totally bonkers. And the only decent value on common is that whole in over 6k on row 4, so... Yeah, this is the worst Dark Moon Fair has ever been. I can't fathom what Blizzard is thinking. They're, they like decided that, hey, actually we don't want people to have fun playing this game, so just who cares anymore? I don't know. This was the worst thing that they have done. And yeah, just when just when things started to look up, they were starting to be a little bit more generous with the Dark Moon Fair, with Blinktron. Then they cut those in half and then they got the rewards in half too, so... Yeah, this is one big disaster of a Dark Moon Fair and very unfortunate for Warcraft Rumble. Yeah.
that's that's just blizzard for you i guess Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.